Instead of using your Microsoft Imagine account or your volume licensing, you can download a trial version of Windows 10 and Windows Server 2016. So let's open up our web browser and let's type in Google and then we'll type in trial windows and choose the one make sure it says from microsoft.com and choose the one that says try windows 10 enterprise go ahead and click on that and this will give us a 90 day trial evaluation copy and we can use this over and over again so if you're doing things like testing or school then you can just go ahead and delete these virtual machines if you're, that's what you're going to use them for when you're done and then just go ahead and reinstall over and over again all right so we'll go ahead and get the get free trial option click on that we'll choose the iso version so we can download the iso enterprise and then we put in our information now, even if you don't put in correct information, you'll still be able to get this. So if you wanted to, you could do this, but I recommend you give the correct information because that's the right thing to do, right? All right, so um, you can even put anything you want, .com, and uh, you can put in your work number as do, do, do. Okay, and country, that one you'll want to put in the correct one because they will tie your IP address back to the country you say you're from, and if it doesn't match up, then you could get an error message. All right, that's all done. Go ahead and click Continue, and we're going to choose the 64-bit version, and we're going to select our language and choose Download, and we'll save the file. All right, so now we want to do the same thing with our Windows Server 2016. Let's just click on the arrow, make sure that our download is happening, and it is, it looks good. So let's go back, and let's go ahead and hit the drop-down version and choose under Products and Services, we can put in Windows Server. Now we'll choose the Try Now option. and we'll get our Windows Server evaluation, which is basically the same thing. Let's choose the ISO version, click Continue, and we'll put in our same information again. It's gotta be at a dot .com or dot .something, otherwise it won't work. Click our country. And if you do put in your correct information, you will be contacted by someone from Microsoft, so just beware. And we'll choose English and download. Now, once these are downloaded, I will show you how you can mount them up in VMware so you can uh, make a server out of them. And if we hit the arrow pointing down, we can see both of our files are downloading, so we're in good shape. So we see our download is done. I went ahead and renamed the ISO to Windows 2016 standard. The uh, Windows 10 is still downloading. And now we're going to choose to create a new virtual machine. And we're going to choose, I will install the operating system later. Not sure why that uh, fixes the problem, but it certainly does. So we'll go ahead and browse to that location once again. And we'll choose the VMs folder next. And we'll do the stores a single file one more time. Finish. And now we'll start it up. And we'll go over to player, CD, disconnect, player, CD, settings. And then we'll choose our ISO file and click OK. We do want to make sure where it says player, removable devices, that CD is checked. Because even though we've attached the ISO file, unless that box shows it's checked, it's not necessarily going to be on. So let's go back and restart one more time. And we've now gotten past the error. And we can go ahead and choose the installation that we want and continue on. Now Windows is installing.